Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. Love having you here. How are you guys feeling? Please comment below. Don't forget to like, share you guys and also subscribe to my channel. Put my content out there. Would love that. Okay. So how have you guys been maintaining during this time? I really hope this reading reaches you with um, the necessary message. All right. So, Taurus, what is happening in your life? Okay, yeah. Um, before I jump in, because I am getting an enormous amount of downloads, I do want to go ahead and say, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. Those are priced just a little bit differently, but please take a, a look at my... Um, description box to see what kind of reader I am okay also if you guys would like to be a part of my giveaway please do so I do have that on my Instagram along with testimonials and reviews okay great so let's go and see what's happening here for you Taurus um, also, if you guys would like to donate to my channel, I do have my cash app below. I have my indie deck wish list. I have um, my PayPal link and my Amazon wish list. Okay, wow, look at that. Taurus, this month is going to be about a renewal. I'm hearing choices, choices being made, confrontation of the past, confronting your truth. Listen, a lot of you guys have had a secret or something that you have not told someone or people that you care about your community, okay? And I'm hearing that you are coming clean. You are allowing yourself to purge all the things that you have been holding on to that have been holding you back from your truth, okay? I am seeing an enormous amount of numbers here. So numbers is going to be important. There's something about um, establishments, okay? Some of you guys are making a very big decision in terms of your career and what you are really passionate about. Maybe both were um, completely different from each other, okay? Some of you guys are going to turn in your nine to five into something that you've always wanted to do okay i'm hearing completion of the process completed cycle yes there is going to be a new beginning for you this has been a really hard few months okay i'm getting financially there's been a few bumps on the road there's been a lot of ups and downs and i am seeing you are going to be seeing the end of um of what's at the end of the tunnel you're really seeing the light okay you're really understanding your your soul mission your your uh purpose yeah okay so what's happening here with you taurus august 4th through the 15th okay I'm hearing of regimen. So I am getting a lot of leadership here. A lot of you guys are stepping into a place of coaching. You guys are turning into coaches or if you are already a coach, this is going to be about you moving into a field of leveling up your coaching abilities, okay? So there's something that is going to trigger you, Taurus, in August in regards to your inner child and abandonment, okay? There's a lot of healing around the home. There's a lot of healing happening around your past, around where you were left out in the cold, where you were kind of um, minimized or where you felt ignored, okay? There's something about abandonment here that's being triggered or even um, not being seen, okay? So I want you guys to gently dive into the past because what's happening is whatever you are hiding or whatever you are kind of moving through right now is really activating a sense of instability from within and it's also coming into fruition 
um, outside of you in terms of what security means to you. Okay, there's a lot of family stuff coming up for you in August. Okay, I'm hearing a recognition of your own wounds. It's really coming to light. Some of you guys have a friend who have passed away most recently, or there's been a death in the family and you're grieving this and or there is a death anniversary for you guys I think another sign had this but I'm getting a lot of um you're like looking through your past with a kaleidoscope you're really looking at all the shades all the colors all the experiences that have shaped you as as far as where you are now okay and this is such a beautiful way to kind of start the month because I'm getting an enormous amount of clearing. You're really clearing big parts of yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Um, a lot of you guys are coming out of the illusion of something. I feel there's been a lot of confusion around where you want to be, where you see yourself. I'm also seeing a leap of faith in the medical field. Some of you guys have decided to move into the medical field full time or um, a start um, on a journey of being a counselor, of being a, a nutritionist, of being a psychiatrist, but you are taking the necessary steps to get there, Taurus, okay? It's like you've been ignited. A lot of you guys are trying to look away from your home base. There's something in your home base that's really triggering you right now. There's something in your environment that represents family. It represents home. You're trying to look away from this. You don't want to have anything to do with it. I feel a lot of you guys are recognizing maybe some triggers this month, okay? So this is about your heart space, Taurus, okay? This is going to be all about your heart space and moving through that pain, moving through alchemy, okay? So Taurus, what is coming up for Taurus, August 4th through the 15th? I'm hearing sobriety, okay? Some of you guys are deciding to move into a serious program of sobriety. Others, I feel there is a level of obsession with money, with power, with status. Something is really kind of triggering you to feel obsessed with stability. I don't know. Maybe you guys are not feeling stable. Something has recently happened, Taurus, that has triggered a feeling of not having enough money or not having enough of something involving the material world. So this is a time to kind of look at what it is. What is it that's triggering you in this way, okay? So there is a lot of pressure around you to perform, and I am getting a lot of people in your environment are really worried about you. If you guys have coworkers, I feel they are feeling what you are moving through. Whatever emotions you are moving through, things are being felt, okay? I don't know why I'm getting a lot of, you know what energy I'm getting? I'm actually getting a lot of energy around um, kind of Wall Street, like stock market, money, high money, you know, um, high status, anything where there's a lot on the line in terms of your finances, okay? And I want you guys to be very careful. There is an obsession around working a lot or having a position of power, um, of, you know, having, having tons of, you know, just status and power. I don't know you guys, you know, for me, the double isn't always bad, but there's an addiction to something. So what are you numbing? A lot of you guys are being triggered this month. I'm hearing someone's mother here. Okay. Maybe there's a passing of a mother this month. There's, you know, you're remembering something here and it's, it's activating a lot of this obsession around working around needing to prove your worth needing to prove something to someone the only person you need to prove anything to is yourself and in a gentle way because you guys are more than enough okay you guys are more than enough maybe there is a trigger here involving not feeling seen by your parents not feeling validated by your worth so there's this there's this inner desire to really um push and, and have fame. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with being seen you guys, but I want you to really acknowledge where you're getting in your own way. This is about coming out of your own mental restrictions. Maybe there's a codependency to drugs and alcohol or something that is blocking your vision from your future. Maybe there's an over, um, you know, there's an over amount of, 
of um, focus on the lack instead of the abundance, Taurus. Okay, so you're being asked to relax, please relax. It's almost like you feel like there are people who are out to get you right now. Okay, do not let the environment, the climate of what we are going through collectively turn you into this. This is this is a lot of, um, I don't know, you guys feel a bit on edge. Maybe there's something you're working on that has triggered you and you feel that you can't trust people. This is a time to allow yourself to trust. Focus on your root chakra. Your relationship with money is really coming up. You have an enormous amount of blessings coming in. I'm hearing you will be getting um, a strong collaboration offer with an Aries Leo Sag coming in through the 15th who is going to help you. Um, I feel this person is ready to help you in, you know, whatever endeavors you have going on. I'm also getting a strong, um, like not a raise, but it almost feels like someone's going to offer you here a new position or something higher, a level up. Okay. And I'm also getting a lot of grapes here, a lot of fruit, a lot of resources. So you will have more than enough. Okay, this is about sharing your abundance this month. Be open hearted when it comes to um, the gifts you are receiving. Don't be afraid to share your wealth. Don't be afraid to share your prosperity. Okay, so let's look at your love life, Taurus. Okay, what's going on with your love life? Let's see. Okay, there's something really, listen, a lot of you guys are working through a purification process. Maybe you understand that something needs to be cleansed in order for you to have a happy home life, okay? I feel you guys are coming out of maybe um, acknowledging that you are addicted to something or someone you are dealing with needs uh, sobriety or I don't know why I'm getting a lot of sobriety here you guys okay there is going to be a very very fast ending to something that maybe um, you thought was going to be the one okay this is not a bad thing I'll tell you why This ending with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, it could also be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, is going to help you thrive. This person, um, you guys may even transform this relationship, but you guys need a separation before this is transformed. You cannot move from A to Z and, you know overnight okay exactly what did i say this transformation is going to bring you abundance didn't i just say that look at that whatever this change is maybe some of you guys are moving through a miscarriage okay and i'm so sorry if that resonates for you maybe there's um, an acknowledgement that there you can't get pregnant or there's something around fertility but if you let yourself surrender to the process taurus you are going to be very very surprised at what's coming in right after you let go of control if you let go of control you will recognize enormous parts of yourself where you are very, very fertile, whether this is financially, emotionally. This is about your relationship. So this is saying there is maybe a desire to end something in order to start something new. If you guys are single, people are watching you. People want to be a part of you, a part of your life, okay? Because you are that it factor. You got it all. You got wealth. You got beauty. You got charm. You got a lot of that uh, that curvy vibe to you. Like you have a lot of um, sex appeal. So please do not worry if people want you, if you, I'm almost getting like a lot of Stella got her groove back. So you're coming out of your relationship and then now you're getting back out there to date. You have more than enough options. There is a level of defensiveness in regards, or you are protecting your relationship, Taurus. Some of you guys are maybe protecting your, your pregnancy right now. Okay. Um, there is a feeling of needing to, some of you guys are choosing to be a single mother. Maybe you did not want to go down this route, but you found out you are pregnant or you will be finding out and you're choosing to keep it either way you're choosing to make a decision for yourself and you're deciding to do this to your partner like you're standing your ground around some form of fertile um a fertility birth okay and listen in matters of love i want you guys to to surrender any defensiveness i don't know why i'm getting a very strong block in my heart chakra there's a need to fight something i don't know what you guys are fighting you can let me know what are you fighting
What are you fighting? What what is it? What is it? Is it is it that you are constantly reminded of your mirror here? You guys are dating a lot of karmics here. I'm getting an enormous amount of karmic partners that are triggering you to be better. They are triggering you to be in your power. And I'm almost getting a lot of you guys just feeling tense about this, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who is um, Taurus dealing with? Please give me some signs here. Virgo, Taurus, okay, I'm getting a lot of Libra, strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting a Sagittarius, okay? So there's going to be a brand new beginning for you guys, planting seeds. You are planting new crop. You, you want this person to be a part of this new beginning with you. But something about your own defense mechanisms, they need to transform or transmute. Your love is consistent. Your love is sacred. Their love for you is very sacred and consistent. But what exactly is triggering you to become defensive or to push things away or maybe you're dealing with someone who does this to you and you're trying to find balance okay with that knight of pentacles and the three of wands you are trying to work hard at a future with this person and i'll keep it real somebody here is trying to fight off any competition maybe they feel that you are their one and i'm getting a lot of protectiveness around this relationship like leave my queen alone leave my king alone and there's a bits of some of some of this explosiveness of like needing to be territorial of your partner or because you feel as if if you don't fight for your relationship this person is going to leave you so i want you guys to really honor yourself with when it comes to your security, what is it that you are fearful of? And the words abandonment keep coming. They keep coming, you know, to me intuitively. So if you can look back at your home life and look at the triggers, where did you feel triggered with mother? Where did you feel triggered with father? This is going to shine a lot. It's going to illuminate that heart space, okay? This is the end of a cycle. I'm getting some of you guys are going to be moving away with your partner or you're deciding to maybe uh, separate and take some time to work on your finances, but you're still going to be in contact with your partner. Do not let distance make you feel as if something is over. You have an opportunity to make something right. This person also, I'm hearing recon reconciliation, but you cannot change something if you are not right with yourself. You can't change a relationship, Taurus, if there's an unhappiness within you. A lot of you guys are trying to find what makes you happy. And ultimately, I think the biggest challenge for a Taurus is to find it outside of themselves, not in love. So if there is a big explosive energy around motherhood, maybe a talk about motherhood, maybe even like co-parenting and you wanting or this person wanting to get back with you, you have to take the route of least resistance. This is not a time to push. Okay, this is not a time to force. There is a level, this is bigger than just your partner, or this is going to be bigger than anyone you meet, you guys. If you are sick and tired of being single, this is saying look within. This is about your journey, honey. This is about you working through your inner child and your shadow work because you're showing up here as a projection of what you're attracting. We attract who we are and what we need to heal. So if you are in this space of feeling very betrayed and this is an end of a cycle for you, this is the time to clear, clear any inconsistencies within yourself and also allow your partner to be who they are. And if this someone, if, if, you know, this is for Tauruses out there who are like, well, I'm completely single. This is still about your shadow work because I'm getting a lot of karmic energy who, you know, the karmics are really showing you how to show up for yourself by leaving you. And it's painful, but it's something that, you know, it's like a, it's a universal thing. Like we learn by how we are treated and how we treat ourselves. It's 
literally a, a paired up situation. The way people treat us is a, a very clear, clear, clear signal of how we are treating ourselves. Okay. When I, like, for instance, when I stopped, um, showing up to my friendship circles as dimming my light or making myself smaller or even making myself somehow incapable of something because of my learned behavior to, to dim myself. I literally started gaining respect of those around me. I was no longer a little girl. I was no longer projecting this inner child who didn't know what to do or who couldn't hold their own. Now people saw me in my full elegance as an adult that I am. Okay. I want you guys to take a step back and look at your dynamics. Look at the patterns in your relationships. Where are you repeating a lot of needing to fulfill, um, needing to fill a void by, by choosing lover after lover to help you figure it out. This is a time to stand in your power. You guys, I want you guys to focus on your inner healing. Okay. Because it's going to be beautiful. You have Leo season coming in, really shining a lot of abundance. A lot of people are going to want you. You're in high demand. You look gorgeous, whether you're a man or a woman. And this is saying heal, heal those places so you can attract the right one. Okay. Ah, thanks so much. Bye you guys.